y'all it's your girl my Moore, and i'm back here with another video i am going to be doing a curly hair routine winter time edition as y'all can see my hair is currently in the state not cute for real uh and i didn't even take the scarf off yet so y'all really y'all really don't even know what it looked like my hair has been in a bun just like been just a not a matted like tangled up bun for probably the past week just because like with school going on i just get lazy or not even lazy it's like i'm lazy combined with the fact that i have other work so like i be just pushing my hair to the back and no today we're going to transform that i don't want to make this intro too long but i do want to say thank you thank you thank you for getting me to 1k subscribers I'm so thankful and appreciative of the support that I've received. I'm so happy, so happy, and I really just wanted to share that thankfulness to you guys. Thank you. Keep supporting. I promise that I'm going to be committed to my channel and I'm going to be consistent with content, and I am not going to let up. Subscribe, continue, subscribe, and subscribe. Sub you know what? This is why I can't talk. See, I started talking too much and my words start becoming like... So, I'm not going to keep going because I've probably just been talking for mad long. If y'all still watching, I'm so thankful. If you're not, sorry, you're going to miss out. But, it's cool. So, let's get into this video. In today's hair video, I am going to be using all Miel Organic products, okay? If you ever watched my Grow Long and Healthy Hair video... That video, I was emphasizing Organigrow, 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 Organigrow. Like, Organigrow was all I used, right? See, this is the thing. I still have Organigrow products. The thing with Organigrow, and I really still swear by them, they really helped my hair grow and become healthy, I will admit. Especially when I was in a transitioning phase of when I did my big shop. But, Organigrow is very expensive, number one. Number two, the only things I really liked from their line was the shampoo, conditioner, and like their moisturizing cream. They don't have their curling products. It's not for my hair. It's, do, it's not compatible. It doesn't give me the curls I want. So I just don't really use that stuff no more. Miel is cheaper and Miel still does the job. And I feel like Miel Organics still keeps my hair healthy. So I'm going to be washing with this. And you know, I'm never leaving my staple products that I use to get my actual curls together. And that's the pomegranate and honey line. Ever since I started using those, my curls are just always the way I want. So, Mongongo, pomegranate, honey. Let's get into the wash. Look at it. Do you see it? I'm a handy dandy spray bottle because I'm about to get to brushing this hair out. This is the hardest part of the routine. This takes the longest. This is the part that I dread doing. This is the reason why my hair be sitting in a bun. I am done brushing out and deep conditioning my hair and detangling. Well, I'm not done deep conditioning it. I'm about to, you know, put some bags on it to preserve some heat. Let it sit in for like 30 minutes. 
I'm gonna probably get some assignments done in the meantime because you know multitask. Y'all know me. Ain't nothing like getting a oh wait wait. wait. Ain't nothing like a reduce, reuse, and recycle with the uh, gar the bags you get from the store. So I get that real tight. I'm gonna add another one. This one from Target. Oh shoot! The receipt came out. <laughs> Yo, bro, this is so trifling. Make use of what you have. There's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't matter. This is just what I'm doing. I'm gonna get back to y'all when it's time to rinse this out and get them curls ready. I rinsed my hair out. Oh, look at how soaked. I'm gonna put this on so I can stay dry and warm. Put this over, cause y'all know what I always say. This is a microfiber towel. So your hair should be against something like this. It should not be against regular terry cloth, okay? I look like I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> I can't even move like this for real. My hair is still pretty wet. So I'm just gonna brush it. All right. Look, I have not seen my hair like this in a while. So I'm excited. leave-in conditioner so i'm just raking it through got a generous amount i'm surprised my ends don't look like really crappy because to be honest i haven't gotten a trim and i don't even know how long all right so this is the gel i took a little on my hands you feel me yeah and then i just i usually do this like i hold it around and then i rake it through like Curls for the girls. Curls for the girls. I just put some more gel because I just like to put, not like as much, like a whole bunch. Like I'm not sitting here saying I'm like caking, but I really like to just get like a real defined hold. I think I'm good. gel this gel has never caused any harm to my hair it doesn't make my hair dry it doesn't make my hair flake so that's why I'm like so comfortable with kind of just putting so much in my hair I think I'm good Got the guards off. All right. So this gonna just go right here. Boom. I've looked it up and it says to dry on low to medium heat. I'm going to put it on my hair, but I'm not gonna be like really cupping it yet because it's still in a wet state. And when hair is wet, you do not want to touch it too much to create frizz so for now i guess i like kind of indirectly put it on there and i'll just show you so i'm gonna like play some music obviously the music i'm listening to is not gonna be music y'all listen to because copyrights right so and let's pray for me and pray that it comes out right Thank you. 
So basically, as you guys were seeing, like I was trying to be as gentle as possible with it because I really wasn't trying to like maneuver my hair that much. You're only supposed to do it until it's like 80% dry and let the rest air dry. So that's what I'm going to be doing. This is how it is so far. I like it. I feel like it's going to be really nice when it dries. Um, it's cute. I think it's perfect when it's winter time because you don't want to go out with silk and wet hair. In the summer, I'd probably still use a diffuser. But, you know, it'd be so hot out. It's just like you don't even want nothing to possibly frizz your hair. Any more than it's going to get when you touch the humidity. When you go into the humidity outside. So, I'm going to get back to you guys when this is like good like when it's like done when it's dry to my liking and how i would want it to be stay tuned has volume fluff my hair is like 95 percent dry i just wanted to show you guys because it is winter time and it's important to keep moisture into your curls to fight against the cold air, this oil has actually really been helping my hair grow a lot. It's called Canvas Beauty. It's by Canvas Beauty. Um, it is $35. I will link the product below in the description box. And yeah, so. I only really get oils with a tube because it's just easier. So what I'm gonna do is just really just put some on my scalp. And kind of just get right there and just massage it. And then I'll like take some on my hand and I'll use that to like scrunch my ends. So, you know, you can style hair all different ways. I could have it like this. I could try to do some bangs. <laughs> nah, my hair is not even short enough. If you stayed and watched this whole video, you're a real one. Comment down below what you guys want to see more, like nursing videos, college videos, hair videos, whatever it is. Like, just let me know. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Interact with me. Interact with me on Instagram. Follow me. All that. So, I'm going to close this video out. Hope you enjoy. See you guys next time.